I'm Susan Mock, and I uh, taught high school art, ceramics, and beginning art at Ontario High School for 30 years. And I am now doing my own artwork at my home studio. And uh, and oh, uh, okay. Well, tell me about your body of work. Well, my work is, uh, I've been working in the last year on this body of work I call tackware, which is a lot of functional wear, and I am using tacks, upholstery tacks, that were left over from my grandfather's hardware store, which was in Pomona, um, from late 40s to the early 60s, and so it's kind of been fun to use that. And I, I generally work in ceramics and uh, hand building, and a little bit of, of wheel work, but functional and sculptural work. Okay. What inspires your creativity? Certainly nature inspires it, but if I see something that brings some feeling, then I'm apt to use that. And, you know, whether it's my past history, my grandfather's tax, or maybe walking down the street and seeing something, I just am pretty easily inspired. Well, what motivates you to create? That is a tough question because I have just always felt the need or the desire to make things and I, I do love to make functional work that people can use. I like to make things that are um, at a price point that, that a lot of people can afford and want to, want to put in their homes. Okay. What is your major influence on your work? Probably the major influence is, uh, is nature, and, uh, and I love the elements of texture, I love the elements of, um, of color. I can't make myself use just one type of clay, so I have white clay, I have uh, red clay, and just a lot of different elements of art worked in there. Um, I, I asked ask this from ask this from every artist I interview. Uh, how do you define success as an artist? Sometimes I want to say if something sells, but that really is not important to me. I just really like to be happy with a finished piece, and I'm not afraid to break something or throw something away if I'm just not happy with the weight of it, the feel of it, the look of it, the function of it. Okay. Has your style changed throughout the years? Oh yeah. Yeah. I, 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 um, I mean, I certainly think I'm, I'm much more refined in, in the building process and understand clay much better, uh, know how to play with glazes and, and whether that's through texture, matte, glossy, uh, colors, yes. Now, another important question, but I know a lot of up-and-coming up artists would like to know, how do you seek out opportunities as an artist to show and sell your work? I love to keep in touch via email. I am not a high-tech person. I love to have that personal contact. Today, even, I mean, it's been so fun to have people come back and say, oh, I bought this last year. Do you want to see a picture of where I have it? Or do you want to? And, and then people bring their friends to events like this. So I, I really like it to be very personal and um, not, not really out there even on Instagram. Or... Okay. I understand. Um, what is your connection to Ontario and the surrounding communities? Well, I taught at Ontario High School for, third, well, I taught at Valley View High School. That was my beginning site uh, when I first started teaching. I taught there for nine years, and then I transferred to Ontario High School and finished my 30 years in the district there. So, and I've lived in uh, Pomona and Upland all my life. Congratulations for that 30 years. Thank you. 
And one last question. Are you enjoying? And are you, are you, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna check this out. But what do you enjoy most about participating in Ontario Special Arts? I enjoy the fact that it's really well organized. It's so easy to come in and have people help to set up, but I love to see the, uh, I love to see new people, but it's so much fun to see people that come to this every year mm -hmm. and come back and they want to see what you have and share what they've done with things that maybe they've purchased in the past. Okay, that's perfect. And I want to say thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. And I hope to see you again next year. And looking forward to seeing more of your work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, that wasn't painful at all.